What's going on everybody? I hope you're doing well today. So we will be working on a Pavilion 24 today. That is a 24 inch touchscreen um, HP Pavilion all in one. The customer is saying that it's going extremely slow and from the small experience that I've had on it thus far, just getting it prepped, it's very slow. It's, uh, it just feels like a 5400 RPM mechanical drive that's dying to me. And it is in fact a 5400 RPM mechanical one terabyte drive that's around five years old so the chances of it starting to wear down are pretty great. Um, we're going to be replacing that drive with uh, this PNY 480 gig solid state drive. Um, it's just a SATA drive and that's going to get that speed and reliability back up where it is. Right now we are only sitting at eight gigs in the machine which uh, is definitely showing its age so we are swapping that out for 16 gigs of um, DDR3L, which interestingly enough, uh, this was one of the last CPU models that actually took DDR3. Even though it's the sixth generation, it's uh, an i5-6400T in there, it still takes DDR3L. So that was a little annoying just because I do prefer the speed of uh, DDR4 and it's 2133 base speed as opposed to the 1600 that I'm getting off this DDR3 but it is what it is, and I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, tear this thing apart, install all these new parts, and uh, make this thing relevant again in 2020. So, stick around, we'll get right to it. Okay, so your first, oh, Whee! This thing is a monster. Um, first things first here, we're going to want to just pull off the um, panel that's directly underneath our uh, arm here. And that's just going to be, get your finger in under the back side there. Like, let's see if I can actually show you that. How about that? Run it under here and just lift up just like that. It's just, it's literally just slides on and snaps down. So it's very easy to get that off. <clears throat> so what that guy is hiding is these four screws right here. One, two, and three, four. So we're gonna wanna pull those off. They're mounting. So it's nice of them to include that. So that's all, four screws, and you got the whole base off there. Easy enough, right? So once you got the base off, we're just gonna start prying along the edges. Use our little pry tool here. And uh, right along the edges on both sides here, we're just gonna start popping that up. And this is just, just a really basic clip system underneath, kind of like a laptop would be. So once you get enough of those done, like I did along this side and then up halfway, um, just kind of give it an up and down, a little wiggle like that, and the whole back is going to pop right off. There you go. Alright, so here we have the guts of the computer. We got our hard drive here, disk drive there, single fan, CPU, and our RAM, all our I.O. is there. So as I mentioned before, I did already clone the machine from this terabyte to this 480. Um, and if you want to see how I did that, the video above uh, is going to show you how that is done. I use a program called Eases to do backup and I've been using it for years and years. It's a fantastic program. So I highly recommend checking that video out if you do need to clone your machine. And then it'll work for uh, any, any PC. All right, so we're going to end up doing the uh, drive swap first. There's a screw on the left hand side here, just this uh, single screw for the drive pretty large screw, so even our uh, small little screwdriver here is not going to be necessary. So after you do pop that screw out, then the whole drive, you can just slide it backwards towards the motherboard and then lift the whole drive caddy directly out. Um, unplug your SATA power, it's all one piece right there. Unplug the whole thing, just pull it straight off. You've got four screws, one, two, one. oh, I'm sorry, I lied. You've got one, two, and three screws, not four. Pop all these out. And these are going to be the same size as the uh, one that actually holds the drive into the computer. Mm 
and they are ferrous, which means your lovely magnetic screwdriver will be able to hold on to them. Always a nice touch. Alright, so here we go. One drive out, one drive in. Easy peasy. There we are, one, two, and three screws, all replaced. Pointed at the wrong spot there, but you get the idea. I'm gonna set our drive straight back down here, slide it forward. Plug it in. And put our last screw in. And that is that for the drive replacement. Easy peasy lemon squeak. Uh, now our RAM on the side here, so as with all SODIMs, they've got this clip on either side. Just pull them very gently outward. You'll see it pop up like so, and then just pull it straight out. Alright, so to insert these guys, just make sure your notch right there. Let's see. Uh, make sure your notch right there is going to match up with your little notch right there. Put it in at about about a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit less than that. Press it in a little bit firmly there and then push straight down. You'll hear it click. You'll see these little silver things click on both sides. And that is that. Install the second one the same way. And push. You shouldn't see any of the pins at the bottom there. Um, that'll tell you that it's in far enough. All right, so we've got everything installed. We're just going to test it before we put it all back together. This one giant iPad. Alright, let's find out if everything went well. We've got fan spin. Alright, we've got Windows. There we go. A little slower than I'd like off the bat, but these do tend to uh, speed up over time with the solid state drive once everything gets cached. So, uh, as you can see, booted to Windows, booted to our login screen here. I am comfortable with that. I'm gonna shut it down, put it back together, and deliver this to the customer tomorrow. All right, so we just position our back panel back on. Only really one way it can go on. And give it a good solid push all the way around. The snaps and clicks are good things. Okay, we are good there. Uh, you'll see that there are a couple of uh, little ears up here. Those go in those two holes there. Just kind of set it down and rock it in. And you're going to have to give it some pressure. Um, go and just kind of fold it up up and back like that and then the same four screws two on this side and two on this side all right I'm gonna slide our little cover plate back on here underneath snap snap we are finished that is it, one complete uh, and total upgrade. So that is it, simple enough. Uh, I think we did, what, four screws, tear off the back, tear off the back, one, two, seven, eight. Eight screws total. Eight screws total in the entire repair. That is what I call a well-made machine. Just, I just love repairability and that is repairability. So thanks HP for making that one not a disaster to take apart always appreciate that <laughs> but um yeah so basically if you need to replace anything back there that's going to be the process for it even if it's something like the motherboard there's only a few extra screws to take out to swap the motherboard out so that is a very nice simple machine to work on and i always appreciate those especially when it's something like an all-in-one that has the potential to be really really complicated when it's just one panel off and there's all your parts that is how a machine should be made 
So as always, guys, thank you all so much for coming by, checking out what we're doing here. Um, I hope this video helped you out. If you were searching specifically for this topic, then I, uh, I hope I was of help to you. If not, let me know in the comments below what your question is and if I can assist in any way. I certainly will. I like to get to every single one of my comments. Um, if not with an answer to a question, at least acknowledgement that you said something. And, um, you know, my apologies for not knowing the answer if, if that's the case. Um, but yeah, we are squeaking close to that 100 subs mark, and that's going to be a very, very cool thing to hit. So definitely, if you're interested in this kind of content, repairs, reviews, I don't know, other technological shenanigans, definitely hit that sub button. Bell next to it's going to let you know when we post something new. That's every two weeks. And uh, like I said, leave me a comment if you've got you know a question or anything to say about this video, and uh, hit that like button if it wasn't total garbage. I'm aiming for not total garbage. And I think that we're getting there. I need to get a light right behind me here to look all official and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're getting close to not total garbage. So as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again. Peace.